What's up YouTube friends? Now it's been a very challenging summer this summer for me here in Nebraska. The weeds and bugs took over my garden. That was a bummer. The laptop that I edit videos on is about to kick the bucket. I have about five videos waiting to be edited. And to top it all off, I was doing some landscaping for a buddy of mine around his pool. I ended up breaking my pinky finger. Now archery season for deer has already started and I'm finding it difficult to hold my bow. It kills right along here. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to wait a couple weeks before I can even get my bow out there. Now in the meantime, the garden is winding down and I'm starting to save seeds. I got so many eggplants this year. My cucumbers, eggplants, and peppers went crazy. Now these ones I purposely left on the vine way too long and that's exactly what you want when you're saving seeds for eggplant. Now today I'll show you a fast and easy way to save your seeds. The things you're going to need are some overripe eggplant. Now this one probably could have gone a little bit longer but it is nice and soft so it should be fine. You need a cutting board with a knife, a spoon to scoop out the seeds, I have some water, and you're going to need your food processor. Now I'll be using my dough blade here, which is plastic. Now in theory, it's supposed to not damage your seeds. We'll find out. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take my eggplant and cut it in half. As you can see, here is where the seeds are. So I'm just going to scoop that out and put it in my food processor. Alright guys, so I put the two little eggplants in here. As you can see. Now I'm just going to start off with these, just in case this plastic blade does beat up my seeds. I'll save these the old fashioned way. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Maybe like a cup. I'm going to put my lid on here and I'm going to pulse this. So now I'm just going to take my eggplant mixture and dump it into this larger bowl. Then I just went ahead and rinsed out my food processor bowl with some water and I'm going to dump it right in. So my seeds do not look pulverized. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up the other eggplants and do the same thing and add it to this bowl. Now I'm just going to fill this up with water. And I'm just going to let this set and settle. All the seeds will fall to the bottom and all the pith and the flesh will stay here at the top. So I'll bring you back here when I'm ready to strain this. Alright, so it's been about a couple hours and all my seeds have settled to the bottom. So with my ladle, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to scrape off any of the schmuckus at the top. Being careful not to stir up my seeds that are settled to the bottom. So I went ahead and I removed most of the big chunks. Now I'm just going to take this over to my sink and I'm going to drain this through my colander. Now as you can see, there is still a lot of pulp in there, so now I'm just going to give this a good rinse. And I'm going to kind of give it a little stir to push any of that pulp through the screen. The seeds are big enough that they're not going to go through. Now I'm just going to continue to clean these until it's as clean as I want them. And I don't know if you can see here, but I did take off my splint. My finger is pretty black and blue. 
I broke it right above this third knuckle, but I still can't bend it very well. But I'm a big boy and I will survive, so I'll bring you back when these seeds are clean. Now that I have my eggplant seeds all washed, as you can see there is still some pulp on here, but that'll be okay. You just want to get a lot of the bigger chunks out of there. So now on this pan here, I have a piece of wax paper covering it. I'm going to dump out my seeds. Now you just want to spread them out into an even layer. That's good for right now. And now I'm just going to leave it here on the counter to dry. Now it is kind of a damp rainy day here in Nebraska, so this might take a little while. But every hour or so, I'll just come back, stir these up, break up any clumps until they're good and dry. You could also go ahead and stick this on your dehydrator on low, and that way it'll dry a lot faster. But my dehydrator is out in the garage full of ghost peppers and cayenne peppers right now, so I'm just going to have to dry them this way. So I ended up drying these overnight in the garage, and you want to make sure that they are bone dry. There's nothing worse than going into your seed basket and finding moldy seeds. Now one of the reasons why I love saving eggplant seeds is because you get so many. I usually only do four plants in my garden per year, so maybe I'll use about 12 seeds, something like that, and the rest of this is all for friends and family. And these will easily last a few years if you keep them cool and dry. I hope you liked this video on a fast and easy way to harvest your eggplant seeds. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, go down below and hit that big red subscribe button. And hit that bell notification button if you'd like to be notified as to when I post a video. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter at Scrappy's Patch. Feel free to share this video across your social medias. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy harvesting. And I'll see you next time.